Hello, and welcome. Today we're going to do something a bit different. Um, we're going to play a little ARC Survival Evolved. Um, and so this game has been pretty interesting to me because I've been aware of it since its early access days, um, where, you know, like, for better or worse, or however minimally you want to feel I'm describing the game, it's essentially Minecraft with dinosaurs. And so, you know, um, we're going to see here, we're going to have a quick look at the game, um, because I thought the game, the concept was, you know, it's, it's okay. Um, but then it's, you know, with uh, the Dorito King, um, he put out the, the Game Awards there, and there was a trailer with um, a cartoon and a... Uh, a new Vin Diesel-led game. So, uh, I'm very curious... Oh, hello, sir. Uh, I'm very curious as to what... You know, like, it seems to be reaching critical mass. And and for a game that I've been aware of and, and have kind of just kind of ignored, it's really interesting to see its popularity bloom and it get this... Uh, you know, this this growth where it's getting a cartoon show and, it's, you know, getting this more single-player focus Vin Diesel-led game. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to run around a bit and uh, show off what um, I've been doing and uh, just kind of show off what the game is. Um, because it's, it's not really clear, you know, to a lot of people um, what exactly you do in this game, what you're supposed to do. And, uh, yeah, I'm just going to kind of show it off. And uh, we got the Got some pterodactyls flying around here, um, and there are these big towers and you know light shafts and all this kind of stuff going on. We got a little brontosaurus, um, you know, a little triceratops action, and so there's all these kind of points in the distance, you know, where you get you know caches of supplies or um, you know these these inspirational big arc towers, and they're all shining lights. And everything's going on. Um, I've played the game for a few hours already, um, you know, for, for those who may have already been playing the game. Um, and so, you know, I'm going to kind of show off um, the game and where you're going to be spending a lot of time. Um, and that's going to be in these menus. Um, you're going to spend a ton of time in here, uh, specifically here crafting. Um, you know, and you can, re you can repair, you know, your items, you know, just just all the stuff that you can do here, you know, make armor, flare guns, wooden stairs, um, campfires, you know, mortar and pestle, like, you know, and so basically the game is a survival game. Like Minecraft, you have to survive the night, you have to gather supplies, build yourself a base, and then you kind of can keep venturing forth further and further as you go. And as you, you know, level up and acquire new skills and, you know, it, it basically makes it easier for you to continue to venture forth um, and to go further and to, you know, um, train animals and, you know, all that kind of stuff. Oh, the sun's gone down. And, uh, you know, we'll, we'll slide in here. We'll slide into my, what I currently have a camp, which is... Half half thatch and half wood. Um, I've slowly been replacing it with wood as I get the um, as I get the materials. Um, I have a fire going here, um, and so I can access the inventory because I put some meat on the fire. And you're going to need this meat um, because you do have hunger and thirst and all all these um, all these requirements that you have to fulfill. Um, as you, you know, travel about. Um, and so, you know, I've been cooking this meat, and I can put out this fire, you know, because you have to gather the wood to make the fire, to cook the meat, to then eat the meat. If you eat raw meat, it's going to go bad, or you eat rotten meat, or whatever. Um, so, we're going to kind of, going to kind of semi-ignore that uh, for right now. It's just, it's cooking, it's, it's doing its thing, cooking meat. Um, we're going to pop outside here. And, yeah, so, like, we have a lot of these beacons in the night. We've got a pterodactyl flying around. 
um, if I basically switch out, um, you know, the, the weapons I'm using, we'll switch out to this torch that I have. Um, we're going to, you know, and you can use this to illuminate, but you can also, you know, attack with it. Um, we can gather fibers because you need fiber for things like armor, or things like, you know, um, like for crafting things. Um, just in general, you know, you're getting berries, and the berries can be used for dye, or they can be used as ingredients in food. Um, you know, you have you have all kinds of stuff going on here. There's a, there's a, there's a lot happening. Um, you know, uh, brontosaurus still running around. You know, we still got a, a trilobite just just chilling. Um, yeah, and that's also a thing too. Like a lot of these enemies, you know, I guess you can call them that. Um, you know, for the most part, they leave you alone, except for, you know, if there's like raptors and things like that. Things in the ocean um, that will, you know, try to mess you up. Um, but yeah, for the most part, you're hunting and gathering. Um, you know, if you need certain things like hides and stuff like that to make certain items. So you're going to have to take down one of these, one of these puppies. And, uh, you know, that can be fun. He's only level one. Um, one of these fine sirs destroyed my original thatch hut. Somehow he was aggroed and apparently very much hated my hut and destroyed most of it. So we had to, uh, you know, pen him and then I killed him, you know, because he had to pay for his crimes. Um, you know, and you can pick up stuff like this. You can pick up the stones, you know, use those things for, for crafting items or weapons and stuff as well. You can run around here, you can swim. I'm cold, I should find warmth soon. Uh, but yeah, you can swim and do all the, the things because you need to travel, you need to get water, you need to you know, do all that kind of stuff. Um, and yeah, and the water's not always safe. So that's one of the things you're going to have to look out for. You know, the, the, in, the entirety of this world isn't um, just here for you to be in, it's also trying to mess you up. Um, and so, yeah, the, a lot of these beacons out and around, um, you know, and you're going to get supplies and stuff out of them. Um, if I, if I'm just chilling here, like just for example, um, I get this set to my bar, uh, you know, I can just get some stone, some flint, some metal, um, you know, cause that is this game. You, you are crafting. Um, you're, you're gathering resources to grow your, your enterprise, let's say. So, yeah, you need it. You need all this stuff to, you know, just just craft basic things. Um, and so, yeah, we'll we'll switch back so I can get the light, the the wonderful light that this provides. Um, just so if you know anything decides it wants to sneak up on me better chance of uh, either A, attacking it first, or B, getting the F out of its way. Um, but yeah, also um, playing on the uh, Xbox Series X, uh, this is a good looking game. You know, this is uh, a pretty good looking game overall. You know, very nice lighting, everything's casting shadows, like, you know, you're getting, you're getting really good glows and whatnot here. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Um, you know, so it, it's clearly a little rough around the edges, obviously. Like, you know, it ain't perfect, I'll tell you that for free. But um, what's here is interesting. Like, it's it's not something that I, I... I guess the best way to put it, it's, it's not something that necessarily uh, would pique my interest. Um, you know, and, uh, you know, I'm, I'm not usually into a survival you know, crafting kind of thing. Like, you know, it's 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 a bit more um, aimless. Like, you know what I mean? Like, you you do have goals. Like, you know, I'm not going to say you don't, but, like, I, I like a directed narrative. I like a character. Um, even if I'm creating my own, um, it's a little bit more interesting for that character, you know, to kind of have a, a, a story arc. Um, you know, I um, can see the the light of my house guiding me home, um, you know, and so I, I tend to like, you know, things like Minecraft, things like this tend not to, um, 
engage me initially. You know, there usually has to be some kind of impetus for me to want to check it out. And so, um, this this lately um, just seems seems to have kind of gotten a critical mass, and it's been really interesting to me. And so I find I find its kind of emergence and um, you know um, clear interest, you know, with like the public as far as like. You know, like getting a cartoon show and getting like you know this Vin Diesel, um, like you know, kind of single player game, um, and people seem to be really excited about it. So it was one of those situations where I was like, uh, I've been aware of it this entire time. Why is it? Why is it blown up? Why is it reaching this critical mass where everybody's like, oh crap! Like you know, it's a cartoon show and a you know big single player game. Um, you know, and so to me, that's the um, the interesting thing about it is is why is it blowing up? Why? What about it? You know, um, is attracting so many people to it? And so yeah, that's that's where I was like, hey, I want to jump in and kind of have a look at it. You know, and so yeah, I've I've been playing it for a few hours. You know, and uh, I, I've seen I've seen other people kind of jumping into it. So I've just been like, hmm. You know, it's it's interesting because it, 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 it's been really interesting to see it become more mainstream, um, coming from like a Steam early access game, and so yeah, I you know I was just like, hmm, you know, let's let's check this out. Let's see what what everybody sees. You know that I guess it, I'm not seeing like why it's so popular, and and through this I've kind of figured it out. Like I've kind of seen like you know. Um, what the interest is, and so yeah, we're gonna jump into some menus here um, because that's that is what this game is. So we're gonna go into some crafting. Um, you know, I can I can craft a uh, a water flask because you're gonna need that. You know, you can drink water. Um, you know, I'm gonna need arrows. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna craft a bunch um, just so I can go out there and cause some some business. Um, you know, just in case I need it. And so yeah, like you know, and I've I've already gotten up to like water irrigation. You know, I can basically bring water um, to my camp. Um, I can do all kinds of stuff. You know, and so um, I, I'm I'm intrigued. I'm intrigued with what I've seen so far. And you know, like you have a skill tree, and you when you when you learn things with that skill tree, it, it gives you more things to build, you know. Um, and so yeah, we're gonna we're gonna, run we're gonna see who's stomping about. Um, because maybe. Oh, it's, it's the old Brontosaurus dude. He's just he's chilling with his shoes off. Let's see what he's up to. You know. And um, yeah, yeah, he's just he's just saying what's up. You know, stomping around. Yeah, let's go. Let's go deforest this place some more. Um, so yeah, if you know, if you need supplies, if you need wood, you want to build onto your your base or whatever, you know, um, we're gonna make it dark. It's nighttime, uh, so I'm just gonna cut down a tree. You know, and uh, down the tree goes. I've gotten my ingredients, and then I can light the light the torch up again and move on. If I want rocks, I just pick up some rocks, um, you know, and so yeah, like, and that's the thing, that is this game, like, you know, you can, I, I could try to kill this dude right now, uh, chances are that's probably not going to go well, um, you know, and you know, you can go in here and I'm like, okay, well, do I have X number of resources I want to build, I don't know, you know, like a stair incline say. Um, let's see what we got here. So, I'm gonna hold on. I need fibers. I need wood. You know, it tells you how much you need, you know, and so once you start playing, you know that you get fiber from the ground, you get wood from the trees, and you just gotta go get it. You know, if I wanna, if I wanna fashion one of these, I already got the, the things to do it. It's lit up in white. It's made. It's in my inventory. We're good to go. 
if, if you want to fix things, uh, you can do that. Um, you know, like I have a couple damaged items in my inventory seat. My primitive torch is broke. Um, and so yeah, and you can go in, you can fix all that stuff. Let's go down here. Let's see, I need some flint to fix it. I don't have any in my inventory, but luckily for me, I'm pretty sure that one of these storage boxes that I built has some flint. There we go. So right over here we got some flint. Pop this over. And uh, yeah. So now we're gonna and you're gonna see these menus. Get used to these menus. You're gonna be in them a lot. Alright, so now I'm gonna go scroll down to this again. I can fix it. It's all green. My repair requirements. I've got all the stuff to do it. Um, and so yeah. Press Y for repair item. We're good to go. I can go over to this one. Do I have everything to repair that? Boom, let's repair that one. Go all the way over. Repair that. We're good to go. So yeah, and, and that's what you're doing. You, you're, your gear gets repaired, your you know, it's got wear and tear, it's gonna break. Man, this guy's rocking the whole house. Um, yeah. Um, I will say I was kind of surprised um, because a lot of the, when I seen it in early access um, and when I seen it in uh, what was it Triceratops there um, when I seen the switch port and stuff like that the game was very visually unappealing to me um, you know I like design I like good graphics um, but it wasn't until this version um, the Series X where I was like, oh, this this actually looks all right. Like, you know what I mean? Like, you got your day-night cycle, you got good lighting, um, you know, the graphics are pretty good, um, you know. And so, yeah, it, it, it's been it's been impressive um, just to kind of see it. Like, you know, are there better looking games? For sure. Um, but for what this is doing, it's actually pretty good. Um, you know, there's a lot of detail, like, you know, the, the foliage, like, um, you know, the skybox is pretty good, like, you know, like, what these these towers off in the distance. And I can actually show you, um, like, as you travel, you can either build campfires or, um, you know, other, other domiciles, whatever you want to call them, bases, um, you know, and so from them you can... Basically, they work as like waypoints, and so I do have a waypoint over here already where this uh, red tower is. Um, I planted a sleeping bag over there, and uh, I'm gonna go back up in here. And uh, you know, as as the as the kind of morning sun comes up, oh, we got a little a little guy over here. What's what's he doing? Hey, little guy. I'm gonna kill this guy. It's gonna go bad for him. Um, let's give him. Let's give him heck, just to show you. You know, oh, he hates it. Underwater, he's getting wrecked. So yeah, put put the giant honeybee in the last item slot. All right, let's let's kill this dude. Swim, kill him. He hates it. He doesn't seem to care, though, but he's going to die. That's all that matters. He's level 21. This might take a while. So, yeah, we're giving him the business. He's, he's getting all cut up. There we go. We got him. All right, so now we're going to take his hide. It's very useful for crafting. We're going to take his raw meat because we're hungry. There we go. And there's stamina. See, I'm tired, you know. Um, so, yeah, we killed this dude. The sun's coming up. You know, you know, got a little pink hues in the clouds. Anyway, really neat. They're they're really they. It has a look. It has a look. I'll I'll give it that. You know, it's that kind of clearly post-apocalyptic sci-fi. Um, you know. Um, okay. Yeah. So, we've got our bed in here. There we go. We've got our bed. So I can fast travel. And. Um, and, and that's the other thing too, you redrop, you drop all the items that you have on you here and you get what you had left at the last place. So here we go. 
So here's where I put that other bed. And we're going to travel there now. Away we go. Let's see how quick this is. Boom. I wake up on this island. I'm cold. I should find some warmth. Um, and see. So now I'm chilling here. I'm going to grab all this stuff. And uh, back into these menus. And uh, yeah, we're going to... I'm going to throw all this gear on. And, uh, yeah. So, here we go. Um, and now we're over here. And here's where that tower is, that floating monolith over there. Um, and so, you're, yeah, you're going to see a few more um, hostels, we'll call them. There's definitely um, a few more aggressive um, dudes kicking around. So anyway, we're going to take a quick little run over here. You know, we we left our sleeping bag on the beach, you know, and, uh, you know, warmed up by the fire. And, you know, I could, you know, if I had wood and stuff like that, um, could cook food, etc. All right, so we're going to take a little stroll over here um, and see what's up. You know, and if I need anything, I can pick it up as I go. You know, I can break these rocks or, you know, whatever. But anyway, we're, we're just kind of showing things off. We're just kind of seeing what's up. Um, and so, yeah, we're going we're gonna to take a quick little jaunt over this way, see what's up. Um, and like I said, yeah, like it has a, it has a nice look to it. Um, you know, I, I, I guess I haven't been seeing it in its best light, but uh, since I started playing it on the Series X, I've been kind of uh, impressed with it. You know? So hearing a little waterfall action there. Oh, you can kind of see it up a little thing here. Uh, yeah, so let's, let's, let's check out our new environment and see what's up. I'm too hot, apparently. We're getting into a very arid area. Ooh, what's that over there? Um, oh, hello, giant alligator, sir. Um, yeah, I don't know what that is over there. I don't think I can easily climb up here. Let's we'll see. Let me see what's up. There we go. There we go. Work, work with the terrain. Um, okay. Our friend has disappeared, which is never good. Um, but yeah, see, like you got a lot of got a lot of god rays happening here. A lot of nice lighting. Um, also, some of these towers. Um, Light spire or um, it, I've I've gone to some of them and they've been level capped, um, so I just I just wasn't strong enough or high enough level to access them. Um, so. okay, it's just regular wood, wooden thatch. Right. So I pick up some wood. I'm trying to cleverly wake my make my way up and around. Get a good vantage from right here. But yeah, the jumping and climbing. I would say it's one of the places where this game is lacking. Uh, there just doesn't seem to be an easy way to climb things. You know, probably by design, I guess. But it, you know what I mean? You're just you're just not able to suddenly be like, hey, I just want to climb this rock and look at it off this thing. Um, I'm wary of this water. Well, it's not terribly deep. Um, so we'll take a quick run over here. Hopefully nothing's going to mess with us. Oh. All right. We got to level up. I guess I can I guess I can show that off a bit. Um, let's get over this way. And hopefully get into a spot where not too much is going to mess with me. Um, and still kind of have a look at the scenery. Um, but yeah, visually, this game is very impressive. Like, a lot, of, a lot of nice little bells and whistles and the lighting, you know, getting the, the shine off the trees, reflection on this, you know. Um, yeah, it's pretty cool. Alright, so we're going to pop in here. Um, and we're going to level up. And so I've got one point, and I can put one point into any of these stats. And so, yeah, you know, we're gonna we're gonna kind of hopefully um, crank up our movement speed with this one. So that's where we're gonna go. 
So, boom. And so now that we've done that, I'm up to level 26. And so I have 18 points available, and I can put them and see everything that doesn't have a number on it. Um, something I don't have access to yet. Um, so I can make all these things. And, uh, you know, wooden fence. You know, if you're, if you're securing up your base, you know, you're going to want to fence or herd a lot of these uh, animals once you train them. Compost bin. Bug repellent. Wooden raft. Ooh, wooden raft would be pretty good. Um, let's do that. Let's, let's see if at some point I can get enough resources together uh, to make a wooden raft. Tripwire alarm for a chest piece. Yeah. Stone ceiling, stone foundation. So yeah, we're see we're slowly getting up there as as we level. You know, we've got the thatch roof. Now we've got a wooden roof. Now we're getting into stone work. Um, so yeah, we'll grab that and uh, we'll see. We'll see what we can do. So we've learned the stone foundation. Ooh, hello, sir. Um, does he know I'm here? If he does, that's not going to be fun. Oh, it just started raining. Um, oh, he. I think he's trying to get me. All right. That's, that's not going to be a tenable situation. Um, so let's hope... Oh, this rain looks really good. Um, so let's hope we can uh, make our way and not have to interact with him. Because um, you do die, and if you do die, um, you essentially kind of you know, respawn. Um, and then you have a corpse run. You make a quick little run uh, back to your corpse. You can get your gear. Um, let's see if we've got some ducks chilling in there. Um, this rain's really coming down. Uh, but my status effect is that I'm still too hot. Um, so, you know, we're gonna swing in here. What's this dude? Oh, hello, sir. You like a platypus or something? Wild female Lystrosaurus. I'm not gonna tame him. I just want your resources. That's right. That's right. I'm a bad man. He wants. There we go. I'm not dragging the body anywhere. I'm not doing anything. I just want the meat and the hide. And, uh, yeah. Just gonna take a quick little run around here. Hopefully. You know. And see, that's the thing. I also, I also really like games where if you can see it, you can go to it. You know, I like that I can look out and I'm like, hey, I've been here and I can see where I came from and, you know, now I'm going here or I'm going to make my way back here. Oh, hello. Well then. Hacky Rhinosaurus. Okay, we can pull up all the details. See, there's, there's a lot going on here. Oh, full 3D. Spin this book. That's the future. 3D books. Okay, so we're getting some lore. We're getting some... Uh... Oh, hello. Explorer's notes are getting filled in. Excellent. There's a level up available. I'm certainly hot. I should find some place to cool down in the middle of this pouring rain. Um, yeah. Right. So here's some little dudes playing. Alright, I'm gonna level up again. Get in here and keep cranking away at it. My water consumption's good. I'm gonna have to eat soon. And, um, it's just... Wait's good. My melee damage. Let's, let's put some love into melee. Let's go down here. Let's see what we can, what we need. Um, and as you can tell, I haven't really been spending much in the way of time um, with like uh, taming animals. Well, that's that's something that's something we can do at some point. Um, it's not a huge priority for me right now. 
I'm more interested in kind of building up my base at the start and then kind of working my way out. Because uh, I don't feel there's really... It's really been a specific destination that they've been pushing me towards. Uh, so I kind of like my little base right now. You know? you know, I'm sure that somebody's out there and they're losing their shit that... You know, um, but I'm not playing it the right way. Or, do X or Y, well, that's great. Play, play your own game. Have a good time. Don't worry about me. So, I guess I really wanted to. Um, okay, I want to see what the... Oh, that's not terrible. I mean, it is a lot of wood, but you can, you can get that. I probably have that back at the base. Uh, it's not an insane amount. But if I wanted to make, well, I, should, I should definitely make a spear. Uh, let's make one of those. Should probably make better boots than the ones I currently have here. That's probably a good idea. And then I'm going to see what I need to get a fire. I need some stone. Okay. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Uh, let's go make that happen. Let's, let's go get some stone. Let's go make the stone thing happen. Let's build a nice little campfire here. And, uh, let's see what else is coming. That's right. Okay, we got more than enough. More than enough. Yeah. And so, yeah, and this, and we can show off basically, uh, you know, what, what you do, how you progress, and uh, you know, maybe it's maybe it's something you're into. Oh, we got we've we've leveled up again. Man makes fire. Up. Um, let's go. Let's put it into movement speed. So yeah, we're we're flying up in levels here. You know, and it, like, I don't know, I, I don't think there's really much in the way of being like, hey, I need to progress in a very specific way. Like, I, I think it's pretty much kind of open to what you want to do. Uh, preserving bins probably going to be great to store meat and stuff in. Um, what else we got? Nine points here. Make anything crazy. Um, stone seal. Sure. Yeah. Three points available. Uh, can, I, can I blow these on something? Anyway, stone irrigation. Now we're going to pop back in. Craft. I think I already crafted this. Hold on. Pop up and go. Yes, there we go. There we go. Place. Okay, and so, you know, can't place it here, obviously. A nice little camp. Here. So let's do that. Boom. Placed. Okay, and so now I can access my inventory. And there we are. And so if I want to start a fire. And and this is stuff that it doesn't really explain to you. Like it it sorta of does. Like it says must contain a fuel such as wood or thatch to light a fire. Cooks raw food when lit. So there are some things that, I guess, you know, seem obvious, but the game's not holding your hand. It's not saying, hey, put, you know, wood here, do this, do that, do that. Like, you know, you're going to kind of have to be like, okay, I need wood, i got to put it in this. There's no, it, it doesn't say, hey, do this. You know what I'm saying? Until you put the, the wood there, then you light the fire. You know what I mean? Like, and so there's a lot of things that, I guess the best way to put it, it's not as intuitive as it should be, but at the same time, it makes sense. So, you know, from from that perspective, you know, you're you're definitely going to, you know, be like, oh, okay, well, obvious thing is obvious. But at the same time, it's not super obvious, and it doesn't go out of its way to, to tell you about any of that either. So you know, we're, we're cooking meat here. It's just going to go, it's just going to automatically do that. So yeah, we're, 
We're gonna see what else we can throw together here. Maybe make this little this little lookout spot. Just kind of a little place where we can, you know, hang out. Um, actually, don't have a lot of supplies. I wonder if this is stone. So I need forty wood. Stone. I don't think I, I don't think I need to make a base here. Oh, hello, sir. So, yeah. And he's just gonna chill. You know, I could kill him, but he doesn't seem to care. Looking for something to hang out with. Um, so yeah, like, you know, um, I guess specifically, like, you know, I'm here, I could basically, um, everything I've acquired um, over here at this fire point, I would leave it here to go back to my original starting point. Um, but what I've left here, you know, um, is here when I come back. But then, I basically, I guess the best way to put it is um, you keep all your skills, but then the checkpoints basically are just like separate storage areas. Um, it's a re it's a different way to handle it because usually, if you were looking for a fast travel point, you would want to just travel to that point and take all your gear with you. This take keeps the gear at the point for some reason. Um, it's odd. It's an odd choice, but you know. You know, they must have a reason for it. So here we go, we got some cooked meat. Take that over. And it also gives you the charcoal resource. So yeah. You know, um, and then if I'm hungry, just eat some meat. You know. And, uh, then I can then I can basically go and uh, you know look at my food stat there in the, the bottom right, it's filling up. Um, and so I'm good. I'm good for water. You know, and you got to keep track of that stuff because, like, you'll you'll get fatigued easier. You'll you know run out of things. So, um, so basically, that's what you want to do is kind of stay, you know, stay on top of all that stuff. I'm just gonna go over here see what's going on with this tree. Oh, piranhas! Oh, good sir. He just, just, those piranhas destroyed my boots. Damn them. My boots. Oh, there's an egg, though. Um, okay, so, there we go. So, like I was saying before, well, water is not always safe. Um, and so some piranhas just wrecked my boots. Um, and so that's not ideal. I guess I have this space over here, um, where the water's much lower. Or these guys aren't going to mess with me. Oh, he is. He's coming straight for me. Look at that motherfucker. Well, sir. Um, let's see if it's a bad day for you to make that choice. See if I can... Yes. Where did he run off to now? Hmm? Because I will straight up kill these piranhas. Like their attitude. Um, I don't know. He seems to have messed off. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to put my feet in the water, see if I can track them. No. I don't know if that was a one-shot, one-kill, or he just took off. Um, yeah, we'll show some hunting, I guess. We'll, we'll shoot these. He's going to take a few of these. Clearly, He's clearly not going down. There we go. Three arrows. He's done. Um, let's go to the axe and cut him up. Boom. Got my hide, organic polymer. Um, yeah, and so the, this is what you do. You run around. You're, you know, um, your mileage may vary. This may or may not be very exciting to some people. Um, you know, or it could be just like, uh, boring. Where's my, where's my narrative-driven adventure? Um, and you know, and, and I guess there is lore. You know, there's a cartoon show. There's all these weird towers. You know, in in the sky. I haven't really, you know, haven't been reading the fiction. Let's say, um, 
you know, so there's there's definitely something going on. Um, you know, if I want some wood, I'll have to deforest this place. Uh, you know, but I, it's interesting. Like I I understand the appeal now. Like before, I was kind of like, hmm, I don't know why people are flipping out about this new. Um, and so here we are. I'm I'm becoming over encumbered, so my movement speed has slowed. And if um, someone decides to attack me, you know, right about now, um, it may suck, you know. Um, but yeah, you do fight, you know, um, with a lot of different animals, like, you know, dinosaurs, I guess we'll call them animals. Um, you know, and, uh, you know, you get their, their hides and they give different, um, different things like polymers and like, you know, different fluids that you're going to need for things, um, you know, for, for crafting, like this, this is survival, this is crafting, you know, and that's, and that's what you're doing. Like, um, and so like, yeah, I don't, I don't know. It's, it's interesting to me in a few ways because I guess the best way to put it is like, it is what I thought it was. Um, but it's also fairly, you know, fairly, Fairly interesting, fairly entertaining. Let's see if we can throw together some crafting here. Oh, that dodo is just strutting around. Yeah, and you have these um, parachutes. You know, you can use them to jump off the things. Let's see if we can build anything fun. Ceiling structure. I'm, build, I'm just going to build like a small little. Now the people are going to here kind of, kind of thing. We'll craft one of these. You know, we'll, uh, that dodo, who wants a piece of this action, I can tell. Um, also going to switch to this. I'm going to pick some more fibers. And see, oh, also, um, this is the other funny thing. This little dude right here is going to pay um, just for the demonstration. But when I have this weapon, it actually does fire damage. And so he, he sets a flame. And he's, he's not pleased about it. And then he did. So, so yeah, that's, you know, we'll just, we'll just show it off. You know. He's He's done. But yeah, we're gonna throw we're gonna throw this down here and make our quick little, quick little base just for just to kind of show it off. Um, and so yeah, so this is how you know if I want to build a little base camp here, uh, or whatever. Boom, and here we are. And so I can basically start uh, crafting things. I could put a bed here. You know, and so yeah. Let's, let's let's pop in and do that. Let's let's quickly kind of throw together, you know, a, a starting base camp, basically. So get the thatch roof. I mean, we could make how many of these? Can we make? One of those. I guess the important part right now is that I want to make some bed. So I'm gonna craft one of those. I'm just gonna stop this bed. Up. thing. So I, we don't really need that right now. But for, for this, I guess, we'll throw a little... Uh, yeah, we'll keep it simple. We'll keep it really simple. Uh, craft one of these walls. And then craft the thatch seal. So we're just going to make the most basic of structures for shelter. And, uh, and go from there. So, go back over here. So, now we're going to throw up a wall, throw up a roof, and throw up a bed. So, boom. There's my little flash wall. Right in here again. Flash roof. 
snap it too. Boom. So we're, we're in here. We've officially got a place. It keeps the rain off us. And uh, yeah, so and we're gonna throw a bed down. And, uh, you know, we'll call we'll call this place a home. So boom. Kind of line this puppy up. I'm gonna put a little a little, a little closer here. No. Okay, so we now have a beautiful bed. Oh, I just pooped. Um, there you go. I can pick up my own feces and store it for other purposes. Um, all right, let's, let's make a little, little stairs going up to this. And uh, I'm going to call this the, the newest and, and most inviting chateau. Little catwalk structure. Hmm, what do we want here? I'm going to go. Will it allow me to do that? I wonder? We'll, we'll try. We could be just wasting resources, but we're gonna have fun. I'm gonna see if I can make this thatched uh, sloped roof actually an incline for the stairs. So boom. Get it out here. No, it doesn't it doesn't like that. It does not like that at all. Yeah, yeah, so like and here's the stuff that's the the iffy weird stuff about this game. Um, you know. Ideally I would just place it right here. But you know, it's in the ground, etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. It needs it needs a snap point. And, but when it picks its snap points, they're very odd, right? Like, why is that okay? But why is that not okay? You know what I'm saying? I'm just, I'm just putting that out there. Um, and so, yeah, there's, there's a lot of, there's a lot of weird, a lot of weird biz that it thinks is okay, like that. Like, you know what I mean? Like, I'm just gonna do that. Why not? You know? And so. There we go. We're good. We're here. We got a fire. We got a place to sleep. Um, ultra option. And so yeah, I can lay on bed and I can just chill. Um, and during this time, um, I can eat. You know, I can eat the I can eat the food that I've cooked. Um, I can eat berries. You know, whatever you whatever you need to do. Um, you know, I got meat that's that's rotting. So I can I can do any of that fun stuff, um, or you know, I can pop up out of the bed and, uh, and let's, let's fast travel, drop our items, and uh, I'm gonna go back to my little house. I don't want to go to right, so sleeping bag. And boom! Let's, let's go. Away we go. And thankfully, it's pretty quick. Like, thankfully, you know. Um, and so, yeah, now we're back here because I placed a sleeping bag and a sign out here um, way back. You know, you can put the text on. But so, we're back here. You know, it's daytime, running around. And, uh, yeah, like, that's the thing. Like, that's, that's what you do. And I'm going to run in here. I'm going to grab my gear. And just for fun, I'm gonna kill this this Triceratops. I think that's what, what needs to happen. So we're in here. Where's my bed? Give me my bed. So there's my there's my inventory. I'm gonna access it. It's all there. I'm gonna grab all. Boom. I'm getting shook shook to death here. Um, so pop into my inventory again. Boom. Equip all our gear. And um, then we're going to take this dude down. So let's, let's get in here. Um, actually, we're going to do the fire. Let's see if let's see if he thinks about this. So he's up there. He's level one. So that shouldn't be this big. Deal. So boom, boom. He's not a fan. 
He is aggressive. He doesn't like it. Boom. Um, all right. I don't know if he can follow me into the water. And see, every, everybody is a threat. See, look at this guy. He is angry. I am swimming away. And he is he is still coming. He hates me. He hates the bands I like. Um, yeah, he's not very pleased. See, look at him. Oh my god. I'm injured. He is not pleased. See, and then dead. And that's what happens. Level one. Triceratops. And so, yeah. Respawn, and so this is to show you what happens, right? Like, boom, respawn, and then corpse run. And so I'm like, you to do, you know, this guy's still here, he's still chilling with the shoes off. Um, and so there goes that pterodactyl again, right? And so this is, and this is basically like, you know, your your corpse run. You, you're gonna run over, you're gonna grab your shit. And no harm, no foul. Like, you know, that's that's essentially it. And so the worst part about this is, say, you have great gear. See, and there, there I am floating there. You know, bow and arrow in hand. Um, but I'm going to grab all my gear. And so I grab everything. We're good to go. I'm going gonna, gonna to beat this corpse to death and get all this raw human meat that I'm going to eat. And away I go. You know, cannibalism for the win. Um, so yeah, so now we're up here. I'm cold. I need to find some warmth. And then we'll, we'll pop back into this menu that you're going to see uh, every day for the rest of your life if you play this game. And, uh, you know, we're we're ready to go again. You know, and I'm like, hey, all right. Got my bow and arrow out. My triceratops over there. Um, you know, and that's the thing, like, anything can kill you in this game. Like, if you're just messing around, like, you know, dudes will mess you up. Like, they're not playing. Um, and so, yeah, that's the thing, like, you know, pick your battles wisely, because, hey, if you're way out in the middle of nowhere, and uh, it's corpse run time for you, you know, and boom, Dodo, he did. Um, so, you know, we'll, we'll shot him off. We'll get we'll get our stuff, but yeah, like that's the thing. Like, um, you know, you're you're constantly resource hunting. Um, you're constantly trying to basically upgrade all your skills, and you know, be able to build all the stuff you need. Um, and speaking of, where, where are we at here? Um, so, if I want to build a stone um, a slab, right? Need 80 stone, 40 wood, which is totally, totally 100% doable. Um, we might as well do that. We might as well do that and uh, just kind of show that. You know, we'll get our wood. Boom. There we go. No problem. We've, we've got our wood. Um, now we're going to go over here, get some stone. You know, and you're going to get a mix, and these are not always going to get pure stone. And so boom, we're going here. Um, and then, yeah, like, like this is this game. This is it's resource management. Now I'm over encumbered, and so see my movement speed hella slow. Um, so let's flip back over to crafting. Let's see how close I am to the stone. So 67. You know we're we're right there. Um, so basically, what I'm going to do. Yes, I'm going to show you the, the over over encumbered where you can't move at all. And then I damage my leg. See, and now right here, I can turn. But now down the bottom right, you see the uh, the drawing for the being over encumbered. And so I can't move at all. I either have to drop stuff or craft stuff um, to basically get rid of being over encumbered. So, you know. We're, we're gonna drop a few things here. Um, yeah, like I need the wood, I need the metal. Um, you know, I could I could just eat the food. You know, um, I can drop that stuff. I mean, I don't really need this meat. You know, and so yeah, that's the thing. You're you're trying to basically 
you know, get, get yourself into a situation where you're free again. There we go. I'm moving slow, but I pretty much got everything I need, so as long as nobody messes with me, I'm going to run in slow-mo like David Hasselhoff on Baywatch. See? And these guys have, have proven to just not be aggressive. They just don't seem to care. You know what I'm saying? So, I'm going to... Okay, there we go. My inventory is too big. We ain't jumping. Um, so, let's, let's have another quick look and see if I can just craft this out here. Oh, and I could. I can totally just craft it. Um, but the problem is, is I'd have to move it or I'd have to just place it here. So, we're going to take the slow walk. And, uh, you know, see how that goes. You know, maybe we'll just look around at this blindingly beautiful light. Wonder what's over on that tower there. You know, see what that brontosaurus is up to. So I side shimmy. You know, oh, we got a nice triceratops over there. Another pterodactyl. You know, it's all looking good. You know, this nice slow motion walk that we're, we're on. Um, you know, we might be able to actually drop a few more things because, good God, we don't need any of this stuff. And I want to walk at a normal speed. Oh my God, we're still slow. Okay. See, but that's the thing. It's all about management. It's all about resource management. Let's drop those. Oh, we're, we're closer. We're closer to running at full speed. But see, and that's the thing, and you, you want to level... You know, accordingly, you, you know, you want to have all that resource management. There's a reason why you're making those bases around the island or continent, whatever the, this is, you know. But And so, you know, that that's the thing. Like, oh, actually, speaking of, you can actually look at a map. There is actually a map, and you can actually see, you know, the places you've been to. So you can actually map out, you know, this area. And, uh, you know, basically go, hey, I know where I am. Um, yeah, totally forgot about that till just now. Um, but yeah, but that's the thing. Like, you you can do a lot in this game and, like, you know, really, really flesh out what you want from it. Like, you know what I mean? Like, I, oh, I could build a boat. You know, where the hell am I going to go with this boat? Like, you know, that, that kind of stuff is interesting to me. And it's the discovery that, makes this game really interesting like you know so even if the lore after the fact that gets built up you know as i explore and do stuff even if that's not right now the the thing that's really being pushed um it can it can become you know far more interesting as you kind of you know unwrap it um so yeah we're gonna, gonna pop in here we're gonna craft this nice stone, since I'm in the Stone Age now, we're gonna craft the one. You know, it's gonna it's gonna be very quick. I'm gonna pop back in here again. Boom. Let's, let's place this beautiful stone. Um, and so, yeah, wh what am I building? What are, what are we doing here? Um, do I want a new? Do I want a stone patio? Am I gonna reinforce? You know, all my floors. What am I doing? What is what is my end game? You know, um, and so that's the thing. Like, where do, we, you know, do I do I want to replace that? You know? um, I think for right now, I think for right now, I might focus. And and see, this is the fun. Maybe I could just build a cool dock. You know what I'm saying? And so for right now, boom, that's where we're going. Stone foundation. You know, I could have a sick dock here, and I could launch ships from it. You know, could have I could have my boat just hooked up here, and be like, "Hey, what's up?" Um, let's see what else we got here. Um, can I make? Yeah, and then, so I have all this other stuff here. Like you know, like I could make a dock, this nice little thin walkway for bridging areas together. You know, I got the fencing, like, you know, it's pretty cool. It's, it's, it's pretty cool. Um, I know it's got really, really foggy. Um, but yeah, like, that's, that's the thing, like, you know, 
know, it, it seems like it's open, you know, and if you're doing things in multiplayer and working together, um, you're, you're definitely going to see, um, you know, a, a more interesting build, like, you know, because then you have multiple people gathering resources. You could probably build a bigger base quicker, um, you know, but like right now, like I'm really enjoying you know, it just casually, just kind of running around and deciding, you know, what do I want to build? What am I building towards? Um, and exploring. You know what I mean? Like, I've never, like, the funny thing is, is like, if I go up over here, up over these hills, I have yet to be up over these hills. Like, you know, to, in any real way. Like, you know what I mean? Like, um, I've mostly been staying along the coastline and just exploring. And so, yeah, that, that to me is, like, kind of the interesting, like, aspect of this game is that, you know, like, lack of, lack of lore aside, you know, because I haven't really been looking into it or and it hasn't really been presenting a ton of lore to me. Um, you know, you just kind of like, hey, what's in the distance? Where am I going? You know, what do I want to do? You know, and if I had looked back, you know, it's like my campsite's way back there. The, the waterfall in the place, you know, that I went. It's like way over this way, you know. I just, I just dropped a deuce again. Um, you know, we got all these little dudes kicking around. And, uh, yeah, so, like, you know, I mean, there's this whole other shoreline here. This whole other, you know, there's some kind of, like, you know, condor crane business happening over there. Um, you know, we got the long shadows from the trees. Oh, my God, why? He just attacked me. You son of a bitch. Um, all right. You want to play this way, do you? Because I will. I will straight up murk you. Oh. That's the other thing, too. Give me a gun. Where's that guy go? All right. I guess he don't want one. So, not terribly worried about that. Let's... Ooh, what's this dude? See, and that's the interesting thing, is, like, this dude's probably a predator. He probably doesn't like me. Probably hates me, hates the bands I like. You know? Is he chasing after that as a snack? He is. See, and that's the interesting thing. There's, like, a bunch of, like, emergent gameplay. You know, you're seeing this kind of stuff unfold. Oh, he seemed to have wrecked that guy. Um, that was crazy. All right, so I know I should probably not mess with him. He seems to be angry acid. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, I think I think it's a pretty good place to call it. Like, you know, just kind of... I just kind of wanted to jump in and just kind of see, you know, what was what, what was going on with this game. You know, and it's clear that there's a lot more to do, like, you know, like, as far as leveling and, you know, getting guns and armor and stuff like that. And, uh, you know, training dinosaurs and stuff. And, like, you know, see, right now, this dude, he's just chilling with his shoes off. He don't care. Um, but, you know, there are other people who are like, hey, what's up, yo? And they want to mess me up. Okay, we're going to gonna quickly kind of make a run back. You know, actually, we're not going to quickly make a run back. I think we're going to call it here. You know, looking into the red spires of the night seeing what our friends are up to, you know, but yeah, um, with that, that's, that's my, like, kind of just, like, super quick look at what's going on with, you know, this game, and, uh, you know, just kind of seeing what all the fuss was about, you know, seeing what the deal was, and, uh, yeah, it's interesting, like, I, you know, it's, it, it is what I thought it was, it definitely is, you know, Minecraft with dinosaurs, but there's more there. There's, you know, uh, there's definitely, you know, burning things. Like, I'm fighting and killing and burning this stuff. And that seems to be the new hotness. Um, but yeah, um, if, if you like this and you want to see more of it, um, you know, like, subscribe, hit the thumbs up, you know, uh, if you're really digging it. If you want to see more of um, me playing Ark and burning dodos and building boats and all that kind of stuff. 
uh, let me know in the comments. And uh, yeah, uh, until next time, you know, everybody, uh, you know, burn the dodo. All right. Take care and have a good one.